What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Overland sets coming with the Necrom chapter. And in my opinion, these are not as good as some of the other Overland sets we have available in game already and some of the other Overland sets we've had in previous chapters. But first of all, let's talk about Vivek's duality. This is going to give you a two item bonus of uh, 1096 max magic, a three item bonus of 1096 max stamina a 1096 max magic for the four item bonus and for the five piece bonus your weapon charges over 15 seconds while not weapon swapping once fully charged you restore 6636 magic and stamina after weapon swapping it is kind of an interesting set considering if you have a long rotation if you're using a two bar rotation and it was a long rotation uh, that would not be bad to get that magic and stamina back but if you're uh, you know, having a bar swap quite often, really you're not going to gain anything from this because you're not going to have, uh, you know, 15 seconds before you swap. So, like I said, these are not as impressive as some of the other ones we've had, but this could still be usa uh, usable. Uh, the second set is going to be the Kamana Tong set, which is going to give you 129 weapon and spell damage for two pieces, 129 weapon and spell damage for three pieces, 129 weapon and spell damage for four pieces and the five piece bonus on gaining kill xp from a monster gain one weapon and spell damage for every 50 xp the monster is worth for 30 seconds the bonus can stack up to a maximum of 540 weapon and spell damage and this item set is not affected by xp boost effects so anything like pots or, or xp scrolls will not affect this but i can see this set be being used by maybe solo players. If you're out just playing by yourself, the Kamana Tong set may not be that bad. It might be, or some players that are solo players could find a use for it. It is probably the most interesting out of the three. And last but not least, we have the Adamant Lurker set, which will give you 129 health recovery for two items, 100, uh, 1,206 max health for three items, 129 health recovery for four items, and the five item bonuses gain uh, 1505 health recovery while you are standing still. Could be used in cer certain tank situations. Uh, if it's a, a situation where you're taking a lot of damage, you need that health recovery and that max health. And plus gaining 1505 health recovery while you're standing still for that five piece bonus is definitely something you could do as a tank. So this could be usable maybe in some high damage situations. Some tanks may figure out a way to use this. But these are the three sets that we have available to us in the Necrom chapter. Like I said, there could be some uses for these by, you know, different players in certain situations. Or like I said, uh, you know, maybe for some solo players with that one set. But anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.